Hi, I'm back testing Ubuntu 10.10 Maverick Meerkat with Compass Fusion. Well, there's a problem with the 3D desktop recorder, and when I try and record like the cubed windows, it uh, crashes. So I'm going to show you what I can without showing you that. It's kind of slick, all the stuff it has. Uh, we've got a group tab, uh, and that allows us to take and select windows, like uh, you can select the window. Uh, and uh, select multiple and tab them together like this like uh, now I've got the comp is window and the terminal window tab together let's add the browser so now we hover over the title bar and we get that you can simply press the super key too and flip around uh, Let's uh, let's undo some of these. Uh, and let's open up uh, another browser. Uh, so we open up another browser, and uh, we've also now have uh, the the scale add-on. I'm moving a bunch of files so you can instantly select uh, which window you'd like. Uh, right. Let's uh, open up something else here. Just open up uh, a putty terminal. See, so it instantly sizes the windows for you and lets you pick them. Another cool feature is uh, in Windows you say Alt-Tab and here you, have, you can tab like that. That's really nice, I think. There's also some cool visual effects like uh, Annotate. Uh, I can uh, say, look at this. See the Elements add-on. That's these bubbles here. I can also make uh, leaves and snow and all that. Uh, it's pretty cool. And there's Windows uh, or water effects. They're kind of useless, but look, see, I can make it rain and zoom in on that. Ooh, slick, pretty. Ooh, let's stop that. And we can also, uh, oops, I probably just broke it, dang it. Hopefully I didn't just break the uh, the 3D stuff, but uh, so now we can say uh, draw around in the water like that. Pretty slick, huh? We can also say oops, fire, fire. Everybody likes fire, but it's pretty stupid. I don't see much of a use for it. I took some screenshots here of uh, like the 3D desktop. Uh, uh, I've got the Mac screen in the background, the, the Mac Ubuntu plugin, but it doesn't work very well. But see, I've got four separate desktops and I can uh, rotate the whole thing as a cube and see it all. Uh, and has gears running the inside. I got cool little screenlets that uh, uh, do my wireless and my processor and all that crap. Uh, also, uh, one of the cool things is uh, it uh, it sees my Windows network right away, my work group. There's my Ubuntu machine and my Windows 7 machine. Uh, sees my Windows 7 machine. We'll go right, right to user downloads. Bang. Sees my downloads. Uh, let's just pull up a movie here. Oh, I moved him to the other machine. I moved him to the Ubuntu machine. Uh, well, I moved him to the other 
machine and now it's looking around the network. I moved them here. Seems to uh, play movies and stuff pretty well. It does it right off the network too. Um, um, it will. Uh, It will off oops, off the network. See, that's the like I said, the Windows 7 machine. Let's see. It also uh, uh, streams right to my Xbox too, which I think is pretty dang slick. And uh, she, do I got anything else good here for you? Nope, that's it for my poorly done video. Uh, um, comes with a lot of applications right off the bat. Um, you can install just about anything from uh, the Ubuntu Software Center. Uh, it'll let you do tons of stuff. Sees your uh, NVIDIA and ATI cards right away. Uh, comes with OpenOffice by default. Gives you a bunch of uh, pool cool stuff, you know, chat clients, web browsers, uh, remote desktop viewers, I can uh, remote my Windows stuff and vice versa, Skype, BitTorrent client, uh, you know, way to uh, do 3D stuff, look at your webcams and your photos, some poor games, the games aren't very good, typing instructor, uh, and then lots of cool extra stuff. Uh, and it works really good. I'm pretty dang impressed with it. I give it probably a 8 or 9 out of 10. I really like the free zoom. I use it a lot. Uh, it beats the heck out of using a magnifier. So, 